guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I cannot wait to share with you six DIY Dollar Tree decor crafts. So this is another episode in my huge I Love Spring series. I love to share with you all how you can make your home's booty gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. And this I Love Spring series, we're doing a ton of Dollar Tree DIYs, thrift store makeovers, um, thrift store outfits of the day, some cleaning, some tidying, some organizing. So definitely go check out the rest of the I Love Spring playlist. I'm going to link it in the description box for you below. But without further ado, go ahead and plug in your glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. So for the first Dollar Tree DIY, I want to take these super adorable little lemon prints and I'm going to remove them from their frames. I absolutely adore the little prints inside and the frames are cute, but I don't decorate with a whole lot of gold. So I'm just going to take them outside and spray paint them with some flat white Rust-Oleum spray paint. This is probably my favorite is the 2X Rust-Oleum spray paint, but you could use the $1.99 spray paint as well. I did use a tiny bit of antique wax I rubbed on them to give them a bit of an aged look and now I'm just going to go ahead and put them back into their frames. I think painting frames is such a great way to add some pops of color or if you're going for whites like I am to just streamline your pictures and update them just a bit really just to make them fit into your decor so I love this it says be still and know that I am with you and it has a beautiful little lemons and then the other one says our family is just the right mix of chaos and love which I think really defines our little family that we have in my home we're a little bit chaos and a whole lot of love. <laughs> so it also goes really well with my Pioneer Woman dishware. Um, I've been kind of adding to the collection a little bit. My Santa Pops got me over Christmas. And then there's that little DIY ladder that we did in one of my last videos. And then here's kind of a sneak peek of the tablescape I created and some of the DIYs we're going to do to make this happen. So for the next Deli Treat DIY, I'm taking this Deli Treat glass vase and then I found this lace at the thrift store. They also carry lace at Walmart or any of your local craft stores and I'm just wrapping the vase in some lace. So you can see I'm hot gluing one little strip here and then uh, just a tiny dab of hot glue just enough to get your lace to hold on to your glass. Now if you guys have a better way to do this definitely let me know. You could also maybe use a tiny bit of tape but I've used tape before with this spray paint. Um, that we're going, getting ready to do. It didn't work so great. So just continue to add the lace in and around your vase and try to get it to um, be as straight as possible. So once you have your lace on, you can just go ahead and take your vase and spray paint over the lace. And then underneath, this is so magical. I love this little trick. You just take the lace off and voila, you have this fabulous little French country um, farmhouse chic, shabby chic, vintage style vase underneath. These are so fun to do for bridal or if you decorate in a shabby chic style. And so then I'm just going to show you guys a couple ideas on how you can style this. You could pop some lemon branches. This was a lemon DIY that we did using Dollar Tree Supplies a couple of DIYs back and that makes a nice fresh little lemon vase or you could add um, a bit of a burlap uh, floral to this. So this is just like a little burlap flower. Burlapfabric.com sent these to me. Thank you. I'll leave a link down below. And also this was what I ended up with. I added some of those totallydazzled.com little gems. They come um, in a 10 pack and they're about $15. So you get all these beautiful gems. I'll leave that link down below. I definitely suggest that one if you all are loving to add some bling or some dazzle or getting ready for anything 
bridal. Um, it leaves the gems being less than a dollar a gem. And if you ever, ever shopped for jewels like that, you'll know they're a lot more expensive. And so here is how I styled it on my Easter tablescape here. I popped in these beautiful roses. I found these roses at a garage sale, but the original tags have Hobby Lobby. I believe they were for a wedding bouquet. Imagine my surprise and excitement to find these for only a couple of dollars at a garage sale. I'm so excited for garage sale season two. Let me know if you guys love to shop tag sales, garage sales, and flea markets. I definitely wait until the weather's really nice. Um, and um, it does get even a little bit warm here sometimes. So I try to go as much as I can in the spring. But here it is all mixed in with this tablescape and I am so crushing on these bright pops of color. I decided to mix in my beautiful lemon decor with Easter. Reason being, I just wanted to make it so bright and cheerful and happy. So I hope you guys are loving it. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm gonna take this Dollar Tree candlestick. Now I had already put it on with this plate with a little bit of E6000 glue and hot glue. I'm taking two more white dinner plates and I'm just going to go ahead and add the candlestick. So this is a Dollar Tree candlestick. I just spray painted white with some spray paint. I'm adding some E6000 glue. Now the reason I add the E6000 glue and the hot glue together is the hot glue will help it stay temporarily and the E6000 glue will help it stay permanently. So I'm also adding the same mixture of E6000 and hot glue to the top of my candlestick and then I'm going to put place my plate as evenly and as centered as possible and then the next thing I want to do is go ahead and add my smaller plate so this is going to give me a beautiful three-tiered tray for not that expensive and a lot of these items you may already have in your cupboard some extra little plates or whatnots lying around that you can dazzle up in this fashion So to style my little three-tiered tray, I added this bouquet of roses to the top with a vintage Easter greeting card. I also decided to add some of those Dollar Tree speckled eggs and this little bunny I found at the thrift store with some of the Dollar Tree carrots and then those DIY buffalo check plaid carrots. You can see one peeking out underneath. I wanted to add in the buffalo check plaid because I do have a little buffalo check plaid uh, banner in my dining room and you guys will get a peek of that in just a bit. But oh my goodness, I love how this just added some height and dimension to my little table setting. So fun and fabulous and oh so ready for springtime cheer. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take one of those Dollar Tree little mats. This is just a little floor mat and then I'm going to take this old piece of curtain from the thrift store you guys this curtain had some spots on it so I decided to repurpose and reuse it and so I'm just going to lay it gently over the little doormat here and then I'm going to take the flat 2x rust-oleum spray paint this is absolutely my favorite I love it so much and I'm just going to go ahead and spray a good healthy layer over my little piece of lace here. So you wanna spray a nice little generous amount and then you can go ahead and peel it off. And this is my favorite part ever, voila. How fabulous is this? Oh my goodness. I definitely recommend flat spray paint for this project. You don't want it to be sticky if you're using it as your doormat, um, but check this out. I think it's so vintage chic and nobody would know that this little doormat was from the Dollar Tree. It lo definitely looks very designer um, and just gorgeous and almost Victorian um, with a shabby chic mix. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, we're going to make a beautiful Olivia bow. I'm starting out with this Dollar Tree Easter egg ribbon and I'm just going to do four little loops here. So you just take the ribbon, loop it over on itself four times. You're going to trim it off and I'm just kind of going... Um, um, wild and crazy here with my layers. Usually I try to measure them, but for the life of me, I can't find any of my measuring tools. Please let me know if you guys are here with me on that. I, oh goodness. Anyway, I lose my craft supplies so easily. So now I'm going to do another layer, same way here. I'm just 
taking the ribbon and looping it over on itself four times and then I'm going to notch it in the center itty bitty tiny notches so this is what I call the Olivia bow and I do have a huge bow video I'll link down below for you guys in case you need help with your bows um, but I'm going to take it after I've notched it and I'm just going to twist tie it together with these little pipe cleaners now remember when you notch it in the center do tiny tiny notches um, and then I ended up adding my last layer um, at the end usually I start with my last layer but again I was just kind of going for it and um, so then I'm gonna add two tiny little notches on either side of my ribbon remember tiny tiny notches you guys don't want to ruin your ribbon and have your bow fall apart so then once you have that all together you can go ahead and fluff it out a bit my favorite part <laughs> So I decided we needed to make a big beautiful Easter wreath so I'm gonna take this little Easter wreath base I found at Walmart I believe it's about $4.97 and I'm gonna take the pipe cleaner and just wire my bow on I make I actually made two of these bows um, I made one for the top part of the wreath it was a little bit fluffier than the bottom part of the wreath bow but I make really big over-the-top wreaths and so I just realized I hadn't made a really big over-the-top wreath yet for this season. I've made a couple wreaths but none that are just really crazy big so this is going to be the one. So I'm just giving my bow a really really good fluffing and then I'm going to take, um, you can see my daughter was helping me, I dropped my bow so she was to the rescue. Um, but I am taking this pipe cleaner and I'm just going to hot glue it to the back of my little Easter sign. I'm using the pink little Easter, happy Easter um, sign that I found at Dollar Tree. This is such an adorable sign and I'm just twist tying that on and then I'm going to go ahead and take some ferns you can find ferns at the Dollar Tree or at Walmart or your craft store but I want to add just a bit of greenery underneath before I start lay layering all of my flowers so I'm adding another fern to the top and this is kind of a fun way to work is to add a couple of florals to either side of your bow if you're kind of new to wreath making that might help you out and then I'm taking some of these tulips this is just a pale pink tulip and then for some reason I had a ton of these hot pink tulips and these were all from Michaels they were $1.99 um, Dollar Tree does carry tulips but sometimes they can be a bit tricky to find so I just went ahead and went for it and grabbed some from Michaels because I really wanted to share this project with you guys um, but anyway I'm adding in some more hot pink tulips now I really would have loved it if I would have had some hot pink ribbons the only thing I really felt like I was missing with this project but I soldiered on I really if you guys are new um, uh, you'll know I try to use what I already have on hand I really try to push myself because as a crafter I do accumulate a lot of supplies and it's easy to go out and just buy new stuff all the time but anyway I'm going to go ahead and dovetail my ends here which means I'm going to cut a triangle in an upward direction and give that wreath a nice boutique finish and then of course I did add layers of eggs and more florals and then just some other little Easter goodies these are all from the Dollar Tree except for the florals some of the florals are from Dollar Tree but some of the larger florals again those were my garage sale store finds and thrift store finds with the roses those were those bouquets I found last summer at the garage sale so anyway here it is over the top oh so fabulous and ready for the happiest Easter ever I'm telling you you guys I'm just really wanting to make my home look really really cheerful and happy to share this with you guys I want this to be your dose of sunshine in your life for this moment and just take this in and know that we can all look forward to the future with so much hope and joy in our hearts so I just want you all to remember that and also I ask that you guys comment and let me know what is your favorite DIY in this video I love to hear what your feedback is it really helps me know um, some of the next DIYs that I need to do for you all um, if you like the simpler ones or the more intensive ones I try to do something for every crafting level 
Um, but definitely let me know which one was your favorite and which one you'll, will you be recreating? I also love to see all of your work that you're doing, um, sharing with me on my Facebook group page. I have an Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group page, and I just love to see all of your projects and also the ones that you're sharing with me on Instagram. So tag me on Instagram, Olivia's Romantic Home. Um, and I just want to encourage you again to look forward to the future with so much hope and joy in your heart. Springtime is right around the corner, and I thank you for being here. And I just love y'all so, so, so much. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. If you are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home, and I share a ton of Dollar Tree DIY projects, thrift store outfits of the day, thrift store makeovers, tidying, and just loving on your home, making it a wonderful, cozy place to unwind and come home to. So also, I want to thank you guys for everybody that comes back and watches my videos and loves on me. Your love and support is so felt, and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you guys and Every time you click on my video, it just brings my heart so much joy. So thank you for that. So thank you guys again. I also have Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group page. Pop over there, request to join, and you can post pictures of your DIY projects and your home decor over there and connect with other crafty friends. The community over there is so kind, and I'm just so honored that you all share your heart and your art with me over there. So thank you guys again. I also have an Olivia's Romantic Home Instagram page. Um, pop over there. I say good morning to you every morning with a couple of coffee. I am a morning person, so I just love um, sharing my little morning good morning with you guys um, on my stories, and then also some behind the scenes of my little crazy crafty mama life, and also some DIY videos over there. So thank you guys again. I'm hugging your hearts all so tight. Remember, wherever you're at in your crafting and decorating journey, keep up the good work crafting and decorating. Sometimes it's not always perfect, but I just want you guys to keep practicing. Um, you'll definitely get there, and I know I'm still a work in progress aren't we all? I also want to encourage you guys to look forward to the future with so much joy and have some peace in your hearts. I want these videos to be a place where you guys can just relax, unwind, and um, just get some joy. I want to be your cup of sunshine for your day. So thank you all again. I want to rem remind you guys to be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. I cannot wait for the next video. I'm so excited. So I love y'all so much. Thank you for being here. And until the next video, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye. And I've come out here to say.